before it sets. On the day I read the email, the Norwester had dried mum's new sheets, like paper mache. I remember the tooth marks left by the pegs, the groan of cotton as I forced it back and down and over itself, stacking it like hot slabs of cardboard in the washing basket. The imprints of my converse soles in the brown lawn, rich tang of plums on the ground, distant cry of a wattle bird, grey arch of cloud. When mum found me reading the email, first thing she said was, don't tell dad. Then, please try to understand, and for once in my life, something for me, and just wait until you're older, and why is it still so effing hot? And for some reason, what came into my head was this line from a Paddington Bear book, quick, before it sets, but in my dad's reading voice, that quiet urgency, and an image of those sheets in the basket softening, melting, oozing through the wicker weave, pooling like PVA on the carpet. When I go back to them, they were still warm, and I carried them to the airing cupboard without remembering that the whole house had been swelling for months. I yanked the handle and it gave a scream and came away in my hand like the tail of a frightened lizard. I slipped it into the back pocket of my jeans and forgot about it as well, which didn't really matter because after I'd forced the cupboard open with a screwdriver and pushed mum's new sheets inside and screeched the door home with the white toe of my Chuck Taylor, we never tried to open it again. <laughs>